Hello everyone, uh, welcome to QTB bi-weekly meeting. Uh, I'm Maru. Our last QTB meeting was cancelled due to we didn't have much on our agenda. Uh, and we are also working on the release. Uh, right now, uh, we're in the age of releasing 0.8.0. I uh, need some kicks in, in documentation. And other than that, we're all okay to go. So let's see how much it's gonna take. Now, in our in this meeting, we are gonna discuss about the process, uh, about the progress we made so far uh, since our last QQ meeting. Um, this uh, I have added on slide. Uh, this slide link it can be get from you can get this uh, slide link from the talk we maintained for our QQ meeting. Um, so let's get started. Uh, the issues we faced, we actually faced a couple of issues and some of them is really important. Uh, on is uh, retrying schedule snapshot. Uh, this is a very important issue uh, that is already uh, in zero point in our later in our last release. And the uh, issue was uh, if the port restarts, the schedule backup may uh, may not work uh, because the admission webhook will re will not be ready to get the uh, schedule snapshot event and something in the code. Uh, so we uh, we we skip that part. Uh, at this moment, we uh, 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 in previous uh, when a snap schedule snapshot or given, we would take a snapshot. Then the we will use the uh, snapshot uh, for further uh, for, for further uh, time. Uh, right now, we are skipping the first uh, snapshot. We are only adding it uh, to the clone. And after if, uh, after that, you will try to take the snapshot in theoretical time. And if it fails, it will keep failing. But uh, at least uh, right now, we are not uh, taking the initial snapshot for a schedule snapshot. Because uh, if a pod restarts, uh, if the QDB operator pod restarts, it will force to take snapshot of all the database that is running and that is pretty bad so we are skipping uh, uh, taking snapshot initial snapshot for schedule backup and that will also fix this uh, problem it will add the snapshot in schedule time and it will uh, keep trying after a uh, periodic time uh, another, our, another fix was uh, adding MongoDB version 4.0, 4.x. Uh, we are not adding it because they have changed their license, uh, but uh, and we did not uh, check the license. Uh, uh, but then the, the many users uh, requested for MongoDB 4.x, then we go ahead and and check the license. Uh, the license is specifies if we if a comp if uh, someone uh, gives service for MongoDB and uh, they have to open source all their tools and we are okay with it because we have open sourced all our we only use all the open source uh, tools so we are okay we are, we are good to go and uh, that's why the, the, the now that's what we have added for MongoDB 4.x uh, support. Uh, this is the PR. Uh, if you want to see the uh, Docker file, 4.0 and 4.1 is added. 4.0 is given, but 4.1 is not because uh, 4.1.7 is still unstable, and they tagged uh, the Docker Hub tag it as unstable. Uh, we will add 4.1 uh, whenever it comes in a stable version. Uh, until then, we are not going to add 4.1, uh, but user can use 4.1.7 if they want to. The Docker file has given uh, there. Uh, another problem was uh, adding GCS support. Uh, uh, we added this uh, updated binary of the binary, but it was not uh, configured uh, to support GCS. Uh, our, we did not have test at that moment. Uh, so we have added new binary, all the binary, and also added GCS support. We also tested it, and it is working fine. I there has some um, comments. I need to check that later. Um, so uh, in our next release, uh, all the piece uh, will be working in GCS. 
uh, my school is also upgraded to 8.0.11 uh, the uh, previous version was 8.0.3 which was rc uh, right now it is general availability ga uh, our 8.0.3 our 8.0 version 1 was 8.0.3 right now uh, we have um, added 8.0 Point eleven to eight point zero version two. That is, I have added um, uh, eight point zero point eleven as X version two because uh, if user had eight point zero version one and if he if he retries it, it may be create an error. Uh, even if any database is upgraded from eight point zero point three. To 8.0.11, it will be broken. Uh, I don't know why they did it. Uh, the past update will be broken. Uh, so we have added a version 2 for 8.0.11 and version 1 for 8.0.3. Uh, the Actually, it's not 8.0.11, it is actually 8.0.14, which is better. And uh, it does not solve the problem actually that we, you know, I just mentioned. So um, our next fix was uh, speed up post post SQL failover. Uh, at the, uh, till this moment, we had uh, hard coded linear election duration, and that is 15 seconds. Uh, but right now, if user wants to uh, configure it, um, uh, if they can uh, in, uh, by providing CRD linear election configurations in CRD. Uh, uh, the specifies it, uh, but the values needs to be uh, needs to be check some uh, conditions. Uh, actually, these conditions are very uh, are tough, but that's why I have added a comment on how this values can be. The retry renew deadline should have been. Uh, into the true directory and some other something like that uh, retract to your true so if you just wants to give them manually they have to follow this rule otherwise they can may have seen this error um, because the validation uh, a client go goes through is very strict at the for these values and so if you just gives them uh, the then we can we are going to uh, apply those but if user doesn't then we are gonna uh, need it our, our default values with 15 10 and 2. Uh, it was requested by some users so i think this is a very handy uh, then our another fix was a helm chart. Uh, we uh, we supported providing annotations in the deployment, but the unfortunately the annotations was not provided was not forwarded to pods. Uh, we also have fixed that uh, by this user will be able to add IAM annotation in pods too. This uh, another issue was uh, checking our bucket access in Weibo, and this was caused. Uh, this issue was uh, issued because of the previous uh, problem I was uh, talking. Uh, this I mentioned, but we, we also fixed this because of uh, it is uh, not good to check bucket access in each uh, Weibo uh, because uh, each user pays for each API call. And this API call is just uh, a bottleneck, so we are removing removing all the uh, checking bucket access for all the. We have already removed them for snapshot and others, uh, but it was a leftover, so we are also removed all the bucket access checking in Weibo. Uh, our uh, one big addition is uh, PVC spec for snapshot. Uh, I have also added a PVC storage type uh, for snapshot. So right now, if future wants, uh, he can provide uh, ephemeral or durable storage for snapshot. If he doesn't, we, we would keep doing whatever we are doing uh, till now, and that is taking storage and type and PVC spec from the database. But if you wants to he can provide um, uh, by snapshot.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.spec.sp
story uh, job, the name is actually maybe job volume story uh, job pvc spec maybe and you should check out that but the idea is uh, agent can provide the pvc spec and the, the issue was uh, you know, some users wants to run the snapshot in uh, MP directory and some user wants to run uh, in, uh, 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 other storage classes because the database is running in SSD may run in SSD but they don't want to run it in snapshot and uh, they don't want to run the backup jobs in SSD so um, they uh, they prefer be uh, running in uh, cheaper storage uh, disk or whatever so but the point is user wants to configure the snapshot to pvc and where well, it is also supported at this moment uh, so that's the all we have uh, all done right now we are working on fixing the documentation the versions and documentation uh, i hope we can make it make the release uh, within this weekend uh, so let's see if we're gonna make it or not uh, if anyone have questions please go ahead i guess no questions today again so thank you for being with us see you in our next meeting